All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. And what your boy is going to be doing today is showcasing AGL EZA Tapion. So let's go ahead, let's hop right in. Before we actually do that, we're going to take a look at Tapion. So Tapion, um, after his EZA, is freaking god tier, dude. He is really, really good, um, especially because of this. Uh, the fact that he now gets 120% attack and defense at the start of turn with 50% damage reduction guaranteed is really, really good. Because before, uh, the way this guy was built was that you had to fall under 50% HP and then he would get 120% attack and then 50% defense. So he literally did not have start of turn defense and he only had his damage reduction, which was good. You know, he was still a solid unit. Uh, the issue now was back then with him is that he could still get hit hard if it was type disadvantage but now because of the way that he's built you know 120 percent attack and defense at the start of turn plus the damage reduction means this guy's not going to be taking any damage he is 90 percent for me um again so he is going to be like super super top tier levels of good um and then of course uh, i went full additionals for him the reason why i went full additionals is because on his super attack he does lower attack and defense so again, for like Super Battle Road or something like that, I really, really wanted to maximize that. So I went full additionals for him. Uh, no equipment. His links are relatively low leveled. Again, uh, I did use this guy a couple of times. Like, honestly, I really don't use him all that much anymore. Uh, but again, after ZZA, I'm probably going to be using this guy for like difficult content and all of that. And then, of course, these are his categories. Uh, we're going to showcase him on every single one except Siblings Bond, which I don't have a leader for. And then uh, I'm going to call it Warriors of Legend just because I hate the name storied figures. Uh, again, I'm going to call it Warriors of Legend because, of course, the new LR uh, Tapion and Minosha, I don't have uh, that LR. So, of course, you know, I'm not going to be able to showcase him on that team. So, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's hop right in and let's see what this AGL Tapion brings to the table. All right. So, we are here on the giant form category team. With my 90% Tapion, this guy started out on slot 7, which is always nice. But thankfully, again, in the Bojack um, Dokkan event, which is what I love about this Dokkan event. Bojack, you can just target him, and he literally does not die. So, anyways, let's see what his defense is. We only have Transform active. Uh, do we get anything else from him? So, yes, we would get Transform and then Fierce Battle. Our defense is 105. That's actually really, really good. Again, the fact that he has 105k defense with 50% damage reduction means that this guy is not taking any sort of damage. So again, already, Tapion is looking really good. And keep in mind, we are leaving a ton of defense still on the table like Brainiacs, Hero, and that's about it. <laughs> Hero and Brainiacs, again, are two links that give defense. We don't have those active. So again, we are leaving quite a bit of defense still on the table. Let's go ahead and let's see what he's able to do here. Again, 90%, two links active, uh, very low level links. Again, if we were, dude, if we had this guy full level 10 links and we got hero, oh, okay, well, the, he's, god damn it, dude, I swear. Oh my god, that is the most frustrating thing ever, dude. This is why I freaking hate this game sometimes, dude. We get a super attack off. And then they freaking seal him. That is the most frustrating thing ever. But no matter. <laughs> Bojack literally cannot die, so it's all good. But, dude, that is an, that is really, really frustrating, dude. <sighs> Alright. So, anyways, talking a little bit more about Tapion while we just let this rotation play out. Um, he leads Giant Form, which, of course, you know, we're doing right now. Ignore that. Um... So yeah, he leads Giant Form after ZZA, uh, 3 key and 160% to stats. Again, that is a really, really good buff. Again, 160% is like between 150 and 170%, so it's like a really good combination of the, uh, of the two. You know, it's not a true 170% leader, but at the same time, you know, he's going to be doing some very moderate amounts of damage. All right, so we're going to do this. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. We're going to target uh, Bidu. It, so his name's Bidu, Bujin, and then Zang, and then Zangya, and then the other dude is Gokua. I know that now. Yep, we would have gotten sealed there once more. Thankfully, I did not put him there. All right. 
So 1.7. Again, that number doesn't look too impressive, but for Tapion, a 1.7 attack stat is really, really good. Um, for those of you who do not know, this guy before his easy A literally would not even be able to reach a million. And I'm telling you this because I used him. Like, Tapion would not reach really big attack stats. Like, he would maybe hit, like, 500,000, 600,000. Like, again, fully rainbowed. Super attack level 10 out of 10. This guy's attack stats really weren't that good. So, the fact that he now is hitting 1.7, that's actually really, really solid. I will absolutely take that. Um, and then, of course, his defense, 100k, 50% damage reduction. This guy's not taking any sort of damage. Okay, chill out, Bardock, dude, chill. I mean, that Bardock is still really good. That uh, um, I mean, that free-to-play one, because, again, he's raising his defense when he does that. So, again, he's still a very, very solid unit, that um, easy a Bardock. <sighs> this is why I don't like running the Giant Form team, especially during showcases, because then you get this. Um... Yeah, dude, you get a ton of Lord Slug transformations off. But actually, you know what? I think I'm actually going to move on to the next category team, mostly because on the Giant Form team, there really isn't someone who can, who links up very well with um, Tapion. Really, the only links we're going to get is like Transform and then Fierce Battle like we did with Cooler. Uh, so anyways, let's head on over now to the next category team with this Tapion. Okay, so now we are here on the Resurrected Warriors category team. We have Revival and then Fierce Battle active. We do have the Dokkan Fest um, Angel Frieza as our friend unit. And then I did bring the Int Golden Frieza. Again, Int Golden Frieza gives 170% to attack and defense. And then uh, the new Dokkan Fest Frieza only gives 150%. Uh, so anyways, let's go ahead and let's see what type of damage Tapion is going to be able to do right here. Again, we have Revival and then Fierce Battle active. Again, Tapion's weakness is probably going to be his really weird Link set. Again, until we get like another like really, really strong and dominant version of Tapion, his Link set is probably going to be the weakest part about him. Honestly, like other than that though, like I absolutely adore this unit. But again, his Link set does need a little bit of work. Because, um, again, Hero is probably not going to be activated too often. Okay, 1.6 from him. Very, very solid damage. Considering that, again, he does not have a super good linking partner from him, uh, for him. Until they, like, easy aid this guy right here. Like, if they easy aid him, um, easy aid. Uh, but if they easy aid this Tech Tapion right here, he would be really, really good. Because he is also actually uh, an orb changer. Uh, he changes STR orbs to Rainbow Key Spheres. Which, of course, again, the Tapions always tend to struggle for key. So, again, making him an orb changer would be really, really good. Um, so then, dude, I'm so hyped if they gave that tech Tapion an easy A. Because, my god, he would, like, work... Dude, he works really well with the um, AGL one. Again, the only issue is he kind of sucks. <laughs> He's really not the best, but, you know. Eventually, they are going to give my boy an easy A. All right, so now we have him with Oob. Um, Oob does not actually share anything except Revival. Uh, all right. Defense, again, 103k. Very, very solid. He's going to be able to tank really, really well with that 50% damage reduction, which is an absolutely absurdly high amount of defense he's going to have. Um, not high amount of defense, but absurdly high amount of defensive power. Again, dude, my mind is not in a, like the right spot right now. I'm just like all over the place. 1.7 again now it's very very solid damage considering that again 100k defense 50% damage reduction he's essentially not going to take any sort of damage all right um you know what we're going to go ahead and float off android 16 because believe it or not android 16 he has fierce battle solid support and revival so he's actually going to work fairly well with um tapion now that i'm looking at him and again, dude, that Android 16 is no slouch. Like, he's really, really solid. All right. Anyways, let's just continue on with the showcase. If I seem a little distracted, it's because I'm also on Discord right now, just looking at some stuff. So, um, <laughs> and, you know, in the middle of the showcase. All right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> dude, yeah. In Golden Frieza, man. Like, not the greatest defensive unit. Still needs a lot of, lot of work because, like, 20k per hit. 
That's a lot. All right. Now we have everything except Transform and Fierce Battle. Defense is 134k. 134k defense with 50% damage reduction. Yeah, I would say this is very, very good. I would say Tapion is very good. I don't know what you guys would say, but do you guys think that's good? 134k defense with 50% damage reduction? I, I'd say that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know what you guys would say. Yeah, this is literally going to do double digits. We're not going to take jack shit. Yeah, double digits. <laughs> 1.9, you say? Keep in mind, we actually can get higher than that if we had Fierce Battle active. <sighs> Dude, this Tapion man, he's really good. <laughs> Tapion's really, really good. All right, we're going to get la one last rotation. Um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and transform with um, Angel Golden Frieza again. I barely ever get to see this um, animation in game, so you know, might as well just go ahead and get it in the video as well. Still, probably one of the best transformations in the game right here. Looks really, really good, man. All right, let's see what this um, Angel Golden Freeze is going to be able to put up with his partner right here. Defense, ooh, 100k, and also that Frieza gets 80% uh, defense, uh, I think 80% attack and defense on super, so. Dude, Angel Golden is looking really, really crispy right now. All right, let's see what he does. 3.7 million. This is a 69% friend, by the way. That's pretty good. He's still in easily in contest for one of the best units in the game. That, you know, physical Angel Golden Frieza. Like a really, really well-designed unit. All right. Let's go ahead and let's get this last attack stat from Tapion because we're going to have Android 16. And then he's going to be able to activate Fierce Battle with him. Alright, so... You know what? I'll put Android 16 in the first slot because he does not do that much damage. Um, his damage is solid, but it's not that crazy. So we'll go ahead and put him in the first slot. Alright. Yep. Are we going to activate Fierce Battle? Yes, we are. We're actually going to be able to miss a super attack. So that's... I mean, good, good in terms of the showcase. Obviously, you don't want to miss super attacks, but you know. For the sake of the showcase, that's very, very good. Oh, shoot. Even, okay, so even if he double supers, we'd, uh, we'd be fine. 2.2. 2.2 million, 130k defense, 50% damage uh, reduction. Also lowers attack and defense. That's very good. That is that is honestly super acceptable damage right there. That's really, really good. All right, then. Let's head on over now <laughs> again to the next category team with this uh, Tapion dude. Because again, honestly, man, Tapion's be really, really impressive right now. I'm actually blown away by how well this guy's doing. So like I said, let's head on over now to the next category team. All right, so now we're here on the Movie Bosses team. Um, we only have Fierce Battle active. Again, the Movie Bosses team is probably, again, not going to be a really good team for this Tapion until we get another sort of like Tapion slash Harutagon based unit. Because just regular Tapion is not on the Movie Bosses category team. And the LR Tapion, the LR Tapion and Minosha aren't either. So again, you know, Movie Bosses is not going to be his best team ever. But he is going to be able to do enough in order to like tank is essentially what he's basically going to do. Um, his defense is 117k. Again, that uh, free-to-play Golden Frieza is giving move, uh, Movie Bosses 2 key 30% to attack and defense. So again, 117k defense, 50% damage reduction with only Fierce Battle active. Um, let's go ahead and let's see what type of damage he's able to do. Um, I did go ahead and bring a friend, Dokkan Fest uh, Broly, because again, Broly gives 170% to attack and defense. All right, 2 million right off the bat. That's very, very solid considering that, again, we don't have a lot of his links active as well. All right, so again, I have Dragon Ball Super Broly mine as the friend because, again, I don't have... Um, the new Dokkan Fest Int Broly, but again, I did go ahead and bring a friend as well. Alright, so that uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly gives 150% to defense and HP, so he's actually still a fairly decent leader. Um, again, if they ever gave him an EZA, what I would like to see from him is just give him defense, because again, Broly's offensive power is pretty good. Um, it's really where his defense comes into play, where it's just like, dude, they really needed to give him more defense because Broly can't take a single hit. Like, he cannot take a hit to save his life. So, 
again if all they do is fix broly's uh defense you know i would absolutely run him probably more often uh than i do right now defense is still a hundred and i mean the fact that it's over 100k is good enough with 50 with 50 percent damage reduction you, i mean you guys are going to hear me say that all the time but like seriously man the fact that he has over 100k defense with 50 percent damage reduction oh three dodge by the way uh right there three dodge always put three dodge on your units <laughs> i will never stop saying that three dodge <laughs> all right so yeah again if you have over 100k or at 100k defense with damage reduction like at least 40 percent and above you're already going to be a really really top tier unit because again damage reduction is only really that good if you have like a hundred plus k defense you know that's why what's it called um exchange boo that's why no one really likes him because again he has damage reduction he has 40 percent but he literally has no defense to save his life that's why super boo is way better because super boo has defense but he also has damage reduction because super boo you can get super boo up to like 200k defense so super boo has like 200k defense with like 50 percent damage reduction that's a good combination like he won't take damage from type disadvantage like that but the issue with exchange boo and then like skinny boo is that they have no defense and they only rely on damage reduction so again that's where damage reduction is kind of useless but in tapion's case the fact that he has a 100k defense with damage reduction and it's a really big number like 50 percent means that he's not going to be able to be hit essentially which is why he is really really good so yeah that's why i'm a huge proponent of like dude this guy's damage reduction needs more work or like this unit needs help because usually th th i mean they really do man they they sometimes really do need help with their damage reduction because so like dude like i said if they only have like a small amount like 40 percent and no defense like they're gonna suffer heavily 2.1 all right that's what turtles on rotation with only fierce battle active again very very solid numbers all right <laughs> let's go ahead and let's continue on okay we are gonna get namek goku to get his rage meter up i do want to get maybe like one more turn uh with the broly chi line lemo unit on rotation with them because i believe they are going to share things like you know fierce battle solid support uh, I think maybe even Brainiacs as well, because I'm pretty sure that Broly Chi Line Lemo unit also has Brainiacs. Alright, this is not going to hurt that bad. Dude, still 23k. Oh, and then this Goku right here is going to do a lot of damage, which is not good for us. Because we have Dragon Ball Super Physical Broly, who cannot take... I mean, he I mean he is at 100k, but again... He is at 100k defense, but like he still can't take damage. Like like he still takes a lot of damage like that's my only complaint with this guy actually you know what we're gonna do that um i'm not gonna put frieza in all of those attacks because <laughs> frieza is actually gonna end up dying all right let's see what it broly can do here because again this Int broly is very very good his damage is not the best his damage honestly kind of sucks but like he's still really good against goku family category units all right no additional supers uh now I'm starting to see why people don't really like him. <laughs> Alright, maybe this is just me being unlucky, but like, god damn, we didn't get a single, like, double super. Alright, Broly. Then this Broly right here is going to give us another one. Just like that. And 2.4. Technically, if you really think about it, this Broly's out damaging the recent Dokkan Fest one. <laughs> Which, again, goes to show that this Broly, he, I mean, he's good. He just really needs defense. Like, he should, like, at least raise defense on his super attacks, you know? Alright, this is gonna hurt like a mother. Oh, son. Ooh. <sighs> this is why... <laughs> Broly sucks. <laughs> he can't take a hit. Alright. Alright. I'm not even going to waste a Dragonstone. We saw what we saw from Tapion here. He hit a 2 million attack stat, which is very consistent with what he's done. Let's head on over now to the next one. Okay, so now we are here on the Movie Heroes category team, still led by Gogeta. 
he's giving 170% to attack and then 150% to defense and HP. His defense is 98k, that is actually the lowest that we've seen. But again, even at that low number, uh, Tapion is still uh, going to be able to tank really, really well. And we got super lucky with the key there, being able to get 6. Again, key is going to be a bit of an issue, a bit of an issue with this unit if he doesn't have like another you know tapion unit with him uh and that's where you know the new lr tapion and minosha come in because them two as a rotation is going to be a disgusting combo so 1.8 with only fierce battle active again i would consider that to be really good considering his damage before he easy aid was just like really really bad like there was absolutely like no damage coming from him it was just straight defense so again the fact that he's able to hit like over a million consistently like even over 1.5 consistently to me is just like a massive massive upgrade from what he used to be god damn it dude all the support type units are on this rotation <laughs> though come on dude all the all the units i want to have run with um tapion are all right here um including the tech tapion who again if he gets an easy a man like He's going to be really, really good. And then, of course, I just brought this Vegeta because he creates, you know, key spheres. And just because, honestly, his super attack uh, animations just look super funny. Where he just freaking bends his whole, like, neck backwards. And he's just like, yeah. <laughs> I just find that hilarious. Oh, oh, sh fudge, dude. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, son of a son of a. Dude, I... Oh, well, at least we're going to get this in the video. <laughs> we're going to get Tapion to transform. This is actually pretty good. Because then we can actually see the damage that Harutagon is going to be able to do. Again, Harutagon is probably another part of Tapion that we don't really talk about all that much. Mostly because he doesn't really come out unless it's like Super Battle Road is pretty much like the only place that he comes in. 1.8 from him is really good considering that again, yep. Because he's an easy A, he's going to be actually doing damage, which is another great part about him is that Tapion with his giant form is actually going to do damage. Kind of like this, where he just absolutely decimated uh, that Gogeta right there. And that lands us square into this rotation right here. Defense is still 98k. Again, even with that in, uh, even with that in mind, we're still going to be able to tank like an absolute champ. So we're going to put him in front of all of those attacks right there. I don't... Okay, thank God he dodged. <laughs> I don't think... Okay, he did get an, an additional super. Um, super Saiyan Gogeta here, buddy. I need you to dodge all of those attacks because if we get supered, we could potentially die. And then that'll be the second time that'll happen. All right. So, wow. 2.73? Oh, that's why. We actually got this other part of his passive to activate. All right, so when Tapion is under 50% uh, HP, he gets an additional 80% attack. Let me actually quickly double check that. Let me pull up the Dokkan wiki. But yeah, dude, Tapion gets another attack buff on, uh, on his super attack if he falls under an HP threshold. Uh, all right, so y'all can hear probably like the clicking of me going at it. Um, your boys, um, yeah, he gets another 80% attack when HP is 50% or below, so... That is what that was right there. That's why he hit a 2.7 million attack stat. All right, so we're going to have Tech Tapion next rotation. It's going to be looking really, really good for Tapion with him being under 50% HP. And then with those massive monster attack stats, dude, like Tapion's looking really, really good with his amazing defense as well. If we could get supered here, again, that's not necessarily something I would typically ask for, but if we could just get hit enough, to fall under a certain HP threshold, that never mind. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. All right, see, the one time I want us to get hit is the one time the game decides to not do it, man. It's so frustrating. Yeah, because I think we're not under 50% HP, are we? We might, but you know, who knows. All right, our defense is 128K. Again, our defense is only 150% now to stats, so keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to try to avoid same type orbs as much as possible. Um, the reason for that is because, is, is again, if we're just like barely under the cusp of... All right, this is good. 
um again normally i wouldn't ask for a super but again this is going to get us under 50 percent hp so another extra 80 percent attacks so we're typically going to see wow dude double digits dude <laughs> that literally did nothing two million from him yeah dude we didn't get under the hp threshold because again tech tapion took double digits from that super attack which is to be expected again over 100 you know k defense with 50 percent damage reduction like he wasn't going to take anything See, now we could get his massive attack set, but I don't know if this Gogeta is going to be able to survive that long, considering that we have, you know, this Gogeta transforming as well, and all of his attacks are guaranteed crits. We also have, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pop this. We have Bardock and Gine. Boom. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Again, I'm going to try to, oh wait, I'm so dumb. I got same type key spheres. I need to get a super attack off with them. Just because Bardock and Gine, they're not as defensively oriented. Uh, again, Blue Gogeta, I'm perfectly fine with. You know, he's going to be able to tank. He's going to be able to do perfectly fine. Dodge. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, he didn't dodge. Alright, so we're probably going to see his biggest attack stat yet. Alright, so that did 18k to us. So that means that we're safely going to be under 50% HP. This Vegeta is going to super attack. Yep, double digits. That's what we like to see. And then, of course, Bardock and Gine greatly raising their attack and defense on this super. Boom. All right. Let's go ahead and let's see what Tapion's going to be able to do here. And we have more support on rotation. Let's freaking go. All right. We're clearly under 50% HP. We've got our attack buff active as well. 135k defense again. No damage is going to be taken on this turn. We are absolutely golden right now. All right, Tapion, let's see your biggest attack stat probably of the like the entire video so far. Because we have Bardic... Ooh, 3.7. That's very good. Again, he's getting an extra 80% attack on Super. And then we also have the Bardic and Gine active skill, which, again, gives a attack buff for two turns. So 3.7 from Tapion. Again, really, really solid amounts of damage. Uh, so anyways, let's head on over now to the uh, breakdown portion of the video. Alright, so this is Phantom Majin sealed within Tapion, Harutagon. He leads Giant Form 3 key and 160% to stats. And then he also gives Giant Form allies an, um, an extra chance to transform into the Giant Form. So what that basically means is that Tapion can only transform into his Giant Form once. But because of his leader skill, he's actually able to give them two uh, two times able to turn into the giant. Because uh, typically how it works is that once you turn into the giant form, you can't do it again. But with Tapion's leader skill, he's he, uh, he makes it so that they're able to do it again once more. That's why it says plus one to giant form for all allies. Um, his super attack, Brave Sword Attack, causes immense damage and lowers attack and defense. Again, very useful for super battle road. Passive. He gets 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, and then he has 50% damage reduction. And then he also gets another 80% attack when HP is 50% or less. And then he also breaks the Phantom Majin Seal, and he transforms into Harutagon once. Um, but of course, he can do it twice with the leader skill that he has. No equipment on him, relatively low level links, and then of course, these are his categories. I actually did not do uh, time travelers because of time-based reasons. Because, again, I don't want this video to be, like, 50 minutes long. Um, it, I mean, dude, already at the time that I'm recording this, like, unedited, uh, unedited, it's, like, 45 minutes. Uh, actually, no, now it's 46. So, you know, <laughs> I don't want to make this longer than it needs to be. So, again, overall, man, Tapion, really, really solid unit. Damage-wise, he's not going to be the craziest. But compared to how he was before, his damage has, has actually skyrocketed. Because before, again... This guy would hit like 600, 700, 500k, like fully rainbowed and everything. So damage was not his forte. Now he's hitting cons uh, consistently like 1.8 million attack stats, 2 million attack stats. So again, overall, he's just doing a lot more than he used to. So I'm extremely impressed with what they did with him. I love what they did with him. His kit is amazing. His defense is great. Overall, this Tapion unit has absolutely blown me away. I absolutely adore this unit. So, anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel as well, go ahead, 
show your boy some love and support subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell i post daily content and i will see you all next time of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.